Well, that afternoon heat bubbling up a few isolated showers, at least in places, nothing around Springfield, really nothing across southern Missouri. But as we move closer to central Missouri, we do find a little bit of isolated shower activity uh, near Truman Reservoir here, uh, just to the south of Warsaw and east of Warsaw. A few isolated heavy downpours moving off to the north. They don't last long. They kind of pop up and then fade away. We've also got a little uh, shower activity off to the east near Tuscumbia, and you can see that shower fading away very quickly as it drifts toward the St. Thomas area. Uh, looks like a little isolated chair activity also to the west of Vienna. Outside of that, really not finding much on radar. And as temperatures are have now peaked and are starting to cool off, those showers will fade away very, very quickly. Uh, now off to the south we go and we're still tracking the remnants of what was tropical storm Amelda generating very heavy rainfall in and around Houston and east of Houston over toward uh, Slidell, uh, Louisiana here uh, further east. And it looks like this pocket of moisture is going to find its way north into our area eventually. Right now we've still got this summer ridge in place and it's acting like a weather wall. It's not preventing this system. Uh, it's it's currently preventing the system from moving north. But as that summer ridge begins to edge off to the east, the door will be open and we should find this tropical moisture moving north into the area by Friday. So just waiting for the summer ridge to get out of the way and then we should find uh, that moisture moving in on Friday and that will be the switch in the pattern. Uh, we're going to go from the very hot and dry conditions that we've had for the first three weeks of September to a much more unsettled and mild pattern starting Friday and continuing through the weekend and beyond into next week. Uh, this is a look at our hour by hour forecast through Thursday and Friday. And you can see by Friday afternoon, we've got at least widely scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area, with a, which is a vast improvement over the rain chances that we have seen over the past several weeks. So, uh, so ho hopefully uh, not only a, a cool down on the way, but some much needed rainfall. You know, just driving around, you can see uh, the yards are starting to look and kind of get that coppery color as the grass really starts to dry out. And of course, if you've if you put anything in the ground, trees or shrubs or whatnot, maybe back in the spring, you've got to be watering now, given how dry it's gotten here over recent weeks. Hopefully Mother Nature starts to help out on Friday. Temperatures tonight comfortable by morning uh, into the mid to upper 60s will go. Looks like here in Springfield about 69 for the low and then for tomorrow we'll find highs back in the low to mid 90s. Looks like about 93 here in Springfield. Winds uh, becoming southeasterly at 5 to 15 miles per hour. I mentioned that pattern shift again. The remnants of Imelda moving in on Friday. That's just the switch getting flipped. What will really help to sustain this is we get this summer ridge out of the way and we get this trough in the western U.S. moving into the midsection of the country. That will help to nudge a front into the area. It's unclear as to whether or not that will move through or just sort of hang up and then maybe move back to the north. The bottom line is it looks like a much more unsettled weather pattern developing uh, through the weekend into early next week. And this is what I'm expecting. We should see rain at times and we should see some heavy rainfall. Temperatures are going to be much more mild, particularly those afternoon highs. And like I said, it looks like it will stay unsettled uh, probably through the first half of next week. Although once we get past Sunday, uh, that model data gets a little bit fuzzy. Uh, got some different solutions going on. As far as the weekend is concerned, uh, looking for scattered showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. Not a complete washout, but if you are going to some of those fall events, uh, just keep in mind that weather could be an issue. And then on Sunday, I think we could see a more widespread round of rain and thunder moving through, maybe say from the morning hours into the early afternoon. I think we're all ready for a break from the heat, that's for sure. How about our viewers club number? The number tonight is 247-211 and our jackpot is $600. All right, well, thanks, Jamie.